Alrighty, my dudes, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all having a great day today. I wanted to show you guys a new application that was developed by Streamlabs. There's a couple of things that I really want to test out with this new software. One being whether or not it's going to replace the OBS that you have on your computer right now. And then two, there's some plugins that can be installed in OBS Studio that I want to make sure this program is going to allow me to install to it as well. But there's a couple of reasons that people are so excited for this new Streamlabs OBS because it's going to be using a lot less CPU stress on your computer. It's going to make your CPU last a lot longer because you're not using as much of it as you would be with OBS. It really comes down to the settings that you have. But that's also another feature that people are so excited for this as well is because it doesn't require as much CPU because everything is built in to the Streamlabs OBS application to start off with. So this website right here, of course, will be linked down in the description for you guys if you would like to go download the application for yourselves. It is in beta, so there are some people that have been getting crashes with it but after you know a couple of weeks a month or two everything should be up and running perfectly you shouldn't be having any issues but anyways five ways streaming labs obs will give you the best streaming experience we have developed the perfect all-in-one streaming application powered by the core obs engine here's how streaming just got a whole lot better for you set to live in 60 seconds largest library of free overlays that you can simply click a little thing in the software yourself and you can use it save 25 percent cpu you're gonna face masks alerts 2.0 had no idea about that that's new to my brain up to two times better video encoding and that's pretty much everything so i'm gonna go ahead and start installing this and see whether or not it's going to replace the obs that i have right now which i'm really hoping is not the case the screen may go black for you guys once the little notification pops up but um i'm just gonna hit agree might as well but i do want to make sure that this isn't going to replace the obs that i have right now because like i said there are some plugins that I really want to make sure I will be able to install in this software if they're not already programmed into it. So, you know, like the audio that you're hearing right now has not been edited whatsoever. I'm gonna turn my PS4 on that way. If I have to use a different video capture, I can go ahead and do that because like with a webcam and that sort of stuff, I won't be able to use the webcam from OBS Studio in this because it's, I don't know why Windows does that, why you can't have anything. Okay, so this might be cut and edited right here. All right, so something really awesome that I did not know was going to happen, import from OBS. So all of the scenes that you have from OBS Studio will be imported over to this program you're not gonna have to reset everything up all right so there's actually a lot of stuff that is happening straight off so i wanted to go ahead and start recording with obs studio again it says select the streamlab widgets which you would like to activate for your stream these will get automatically added to your scene so you can go ahead and select what ones you want and go ahead and put it in to whatever your personal brain wants to have in your stream all right so it does look like you're going to eventually be able to install the filters and stuff i can't get it to work myself personally i've been sitting here for a while trying to figure out how to do this the reefer or whatever this vst plugin thing basically it allows you to set a preset equalizer into your microphone I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about over here with OBS. See this equalizer right here. The audio that you're hearing right now is from a Blue Yeti that has not been edited whatsoever. It allows you to add like a preset EQ to your microphone. I've already made a video on this. 
I don't want to make it any longer than it needs to be but it doesn't look like you're going to be able to do that with the program right now it's like bugged out um because if you hit open interface if I click that open interface if I try to type in the reefer stand alone no elements found consider changing the search query so i don't think that it's working as of right now but um i want to go ahead and show you guys a couple of things really quick so this is how you test your subscriber and stuff all of that this is part of the reason that so many people want to install this program i'm just being honest i'm not going to tell you it it allows you to install the plugins if it's not going to work if you can figure out how to do that it would mean a lot to me if you could let me know down in the comments below but your microphone will be muted at first so you're going to just need to click the little volume button and everything should be fine right okay well um hopefully this didn't make Alright, you guys can probably hear that anyway. Okay, so it did make the subscriber alert. But anyways, that's what those are. The only way I'm able to record this picture right here is because I have three different capture cards. And I had to remove the scene from the OBS that I have right now. But right here, this is how you go into your dashboard. Everything from the Streamlabs website is built into this OBS. So the reason that it saves so much CPU is because you don't have to have 10 different windows open. There's a chat box that goes on the side of this program. So if your internet isn't the best, you don't have to have your stream open and all of that sort of stuff. It puts it like on the side of this program. But I don't want to uh, do all of that sort of stuff. This right here is all of the different um overlays and stuff they have like animated overlays and that like this right here you can see that it's um see how the light is like lighting up and that sort of stuff the editor okay that just allows you to edit the stuff and it does tell you the dimensions um live hopefully that doesn't uh okay <laughs> for what it like went like whoa okay oh hold on i want to see something okay never mind okay so the tracks that's also a thing that you'll be able to do if you're not if you don't have audacity or premiere pro this is means nothing to you but basically if you're streaming and you want to be recording a video or whatever you can separate the audio tracks in some programs it doesn't work for every program you are going to need audacity or premiere pro that separates audio tracks from a single file um i can't remember what the name of that is called uh how do i get back to this it is a little confusing guys i'm not gonna lie okay editor okay so bug report what will that do okay that okay that's okay bright dark okay never mind this is the bug report if you're having issues this is how you get into your settings it doesn't look like they have the advanced yet um video it doesn't look like they have the advanced setting as of right now um at least as far as i can tell but anyways guys i just wanted to share this program with you like i said you are going to okay it didn't show my stream key you are going to need to tinker around with it a little bit but if you don't have the best computer or you have to pay your electric bill or any of that sort of stuff then you know this program is going to be pretty useful for you 
it's going to help your internet if you don't have the best internet and all of that sort of stuff so i'm going to go ahead and end the video here i just wanted to quickly show you this program i apologize if it's really long i'm going to have to edit it down a lot because it did take me a little while to figure some of the things out the filters as of right now that's a big deal for me so i'm personally probably not going to use this program because there are some filters that i have in obs studio that i can't figure out how to work with this so if you have an audio whatever then you know you're probably not going to want to use this software if you're looking to have those plugins and stuff so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video remember to support it with a like if you did subscribe if you haven't already go ahead and click the links down in the description below if you would like to see what you know if you would like to read everything i didn't want to read over absolutely everything read over the important stuff so i hope you guys enjoyed until the next one peace